Thank you. <laughs> That's, that was good. That's a very good beginning. <laughs> Five point four uh, indefinite integrals and the leg chain theme. Okay, now this um, this is an indefinite integral. The upper and lower limit are not specified. Okay, uh, we have all those rules right here. Okay, so the constant multiple rule you can bring out this constant in front of the integral, the sum and difference rule, the constant uh, when you integrate a constant, and then and then this one here when you integrate a power. Okay, so we find anti to that, okay? Don't forget to press C. Uh, we went over all of this, okay? So we have, uh, I also went over the SST rule to remember the T and anti to T that relate to tension and second. Okay, and then we did this one and this one. So certain formula, uh, I want you to remember certain formula by um, like automatic rule. So next time you see that, you can recognize it right away. Okay, now we go to example one and two over here. Let's do it together, okay? So over here we have, uh, we take the integral of this. So this is an indefinite integral. The up and lower limit is not specified. Uh, it stands for the uh, general anti duality okay? So first we use the difference rule here, okay? And then to the integral of the difference is the difference of the integral, okay? And later, and then we use this constant multiple rule. We take this constant in front of this integral. And then you find anti duality of this. What's anti duality x to the four power? Um, it's uh, one fifth of uh, x uh, five. Yes, you got it. Okay. So it is x to the fifth divided by five. So I, I know that you guys actually went over the lesson we remember. That's good. Uh, what's anti duality is second squared? Remember the SST rule, the trick that I told you? Anti duality mm -hmm. or second squared? Tangent X. Tangent X, right? So remember our SST. Okay, so SST. So the duality of tangent is second squared. Okay. So anti duality is second square is going to be tangent. Okay. So that is tangent of x. Okay. That's good. Now uh, you just need to simplify this. So, so to simplify this, we'll get 2x to the fifth minus 2 tangent x. And don't forget to press the constant c. Okay. Good. Um, now you can check if I got this right by differentiating this, see if we get back the cell function that you integrate with, right? Okay, so if I differentiate this function, this family of functions, well, indeed, it's equal to this function that we integrate with, okay? So that's it, okay? Now, the second one over here, we try to uh, find the anti of this, okay? The integral of this. Now, first of all, what would you like to do? Well, let's do some algebra first, right? Right now, it doesn't match with any function in the uh, anti duality table, right? So let's try to do some algebra. Try to separate this. So we're going to separate this into one over sine theta and then times cosine theta over sine theta. Now, why do I want to do this? Uh, because I think it's going to match with something that is uh, that we are familiar with in the integration table, okay? Okay, so what's one over sine data? Now you can review the trigonometry, right? What's the reciprocal of sine data? <laughs> okay, now let me teach you uh, also a, a 
trick to remember that, okay? Sine, cosine, tangent, secant, cosecant, cotangent. The reciprocal of sine is cosecant. Reciprocal of cosine is secant. Uh, reciprocal of tangent is cotangent. So reciprocal sine here is cosecant, okay? So that is cosecant theta. Cosine theta over sine theta. What function is that? That's uh, one over ten, so cotan. Yes, cotangent data. You got it. Okay, so cotangent data. Now you look at this function that we integrate with. Okay, um, so think about what function when you differentiate, differentiate give you cosecant data, cotangent data. Do you guys remember that? <laughs> it's right here. Okay, so uh, remember the table above. Okay, formula 11, uh, cosecant data, the duality is negative cosecant data, cotangent data. So to undo the negative side, you put negative side over here. So the duality of negative cosecant data is cosecant data times cotangent data. So this is the one, okay? Okay, so, so we're using that formula 11 in the table above, right? But I would like you to remember, uh, Remember this by heart, okay? Okay, now, so the two examples above, uh, those are indefinite integral. The upper and lower limit are not specified, okay? Now I'm gonna have examples three, four, five. They are definite integral. So the upper and lower limit are specified, okay? So the result will be number. The one that we have before here, those are indefinite integral. The results are families of function. So those are family function. So think about those function, uh, when you grab them, they're going to shift it, okay, up or down, okay? Like that. Those are family function. Definite integral, the result should be number, okay? The number right here. Okay, so like this one. So up and lower limit are specified, that's a definite integral. So we remember the fundamental female calculus uh, part two. So we find anti-duality of this. So let's find anti-duality of this function. Okay, anti what's anti-duality x cubed, everyone? X to the, now remember. Um, fourth. Yeah. And the fourth, x to the fourth. Yes, mm -hmm. right. So when you take anti derivative x to the n for n not equal to negative one, you will increase this exponent by one and divide by that exponent right here, right? Divide by n plus one, okay? That's why. So anti derivative x to the n is x to the n plus one divided by n plus one and then plus a constant. So the anti derivative x to the n is x to the four power, okay? You just set that and then divide by four. So you got it. Okay, and then um, the six over here uh, is a constant multiple, so we have this six. And then we take anti duality of x, which is what? x to the square divided by two. You got it? Okay, x squared divided by two. Okay, and then we simplify this, okay? So when you simplify this, so this will become x to the four divided by four minus 3x squared. Now you evaluate it uh, from 0 to 3. So then you will get, you substitute 3 in it. And then minus, uh, substitute 0 in x, you get 0. So the result here will be negative 6.75. <clears throat> um, do you want us to write our answers in fractions or something, or just decimals? It doesn't matter to you? It, it doesn't matter. Uh, in you know, in web side, when you do homework on web side, uh, let me tell you, they don't want to have a mixed number. For example, on web side, they don't want the mixed number. Let's answer here. Um, instead, they want the improper fraction. Okay. Good yeah. I actually, I actually emailed them uh, because one student uh, put down the mixed number mm -hmm. and. Uh, it got marked wrong, and I say, well, it's equivalent. How can it get marked wrong? They say, because mixed number, for example, over here, uh, say, say like this, four and one third. Then they say it's kind of confused with four times one third. 
So, so they think it's kind of confused with. Oh, this. okay. So yeah, that's I was why, wondering. Yeah, so that's why they prefer to have uh, improper fraction. So instead, they will put down thirteen over three, and they prefer this one. So uh, that's what they say. But you know, those are computers; they're not as smart as humans. <laughs> between them, okay? So so for you guys, pay attention, when the answer is in fraction, maybe put that in uh, improper fraction instead of mixed number. So then you get you don't get marked wrong. And then if you put in decimal, you should have no problem though, okay? So in right uh, side, the final answer, you can express it as improper fraction or decimal, okay? So anyway, yeah. So over here, this one, number four, okay? So this integral over here, uh, first we take out this three, okay? So that's the constant multiple. What's the antiderivative one over x squared plus one? Inverse tangent. Yes, inverse tangent of x, yeah, you got it. So it is inverse tangent of x, okay. And now you substitute uh, two in it, substitute zero in it, okay? So now you get inverse, Tangent of two subtract inward tangent of zero. Now, what's inward tangent zero? It no. is going to be zero. No. Yes. So, so inward tangent of two is not a special angle, and you just leave it like this. You don't you don't try to write the approximation. Okay. So this is the exact answer. Okay, so if you put the decimal approximation, that's not the exact answer. Okay, this is the exact answer. So leave, if they want the exact answer, leave like this. Okay, number five. Now this one over here, um, this quotient, uh, you don't see the antiderivative, right? But if you separate this, okay, so this is the common denominator. You should turn on top, divide by this, Denominator, you can separate them into three terms, and they are, then you can integrate each one separately. Okay. Now here we'll show you how to do this algebra, how to how to get from this to this. Okay. Okay. Now now remember the power rule. When you take anti to t to n is t to the n plus one divided by n plus one, and over here to rewrite this to separate them into three terms right here. Uh, each term will divide by this common denominator, and you do the algebra, you get this. Okay. Now, what's antiderivative two? Anyone? Two t. Two t, right? So we have. Yeah. Since we're using the variable t, so just put t right here. Okay. Two t. Okay, and then plus. What's antiderivative t to the one half power? Two thirds t to the three over two. Yes, you got it. So that will be now when you take antiderivative, exponent increase by one. So you add one to that. So that will be three half. And then divide by this exponent, which is the same as multiply by is reciprocal. So we multiply by two over three. Okay, right. Now minus, similar for this one. Increase this exponent by one. So we have t to the negative one power. Okay. And now divide by negative one, which is the same as multiply by negative one. Okay. Now you go ahead and substitute this nine into t and substitute one into t and then subtract right here, then this is the number, that's the way to start. Any question over here? Okay, you can raise your hand if you have a question, okay? 